Max. Think about Alex. <laughs> no, nah, Max. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go by your we'll go by your tag name, bro. <laughs> All right. Max Daddy in the building. Oh, uh, what's going on, my G? First thing first, man. Before we even start, man, what's what's up with that name, bro? Where where did you get that name from, Max Daddy? Uh, <laughs> Uh, funny story, uh, I was actually in the, in the Marines at the time, and my, my friends just kind of gave me that name, you know, something mm-hmm. I heard in the Marines, and they kind of stuck with me, and I just carried it from the military, so I was like, you know, Max Daddy, I like the name. The military? <laughs> you mean to tell me a female didn't give you that name, man? I, I would have, <laughs> whoa, that, oh, okay, uh, I, I, thought a, I thought a female gave you that name, I thought you was going to come on here and say, well, you know, bro. I was, yeah, you know, I was doing, question. I was doing my thing, and you know, I, I put it down on my little, on my little lady, and she just started calling me Matt's dad. <laughs> hey, that's the story. I wish that would have happened. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, all right. So let's start with your story, man. Uh, what, how did you, uh, how, how did you uh, get in the trucking, and uh, how has it been so far? Uh, I got to trucking after I got out the military. You know, I was kind of balancing from job to job. You know, and one of my friends, who's a trucker, actually kind of reached out to me because he thought I was kind of having a hard time after the military. So I was like, he's like, "Why don't you get your CDL?" So I was like, "I don't know, man." So after staying on it for a couple months, and you know, I thought, you know, I, I will get my CDL. And I've been doing it for about two years now. Um, it's it's been it's definitely been. A, an adventure for sure. You said it's been an while, adventure for sure, huh? Definitely, definitely, it's definitely so, learning something new every day. So how long? Trucker, how know. before you before you got out of the military? How long you was in it? Oh, I was in the military for eight years. Bro, eight years in the military, you came out and you 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 were struggling. It was that bad when you came. Yeah, out? yeah, yeah. It, it was definitely hard because you know at the time I was you know going through a divorce and the jobs I had lined up didn't go through. So I was kind of like trying to balance some job to job, keep like the cash flow coming through, coming in. And it, it, it's a lot, it's hard transitioning from the military to like the green world. People don't even realize it. But <laughs> so what, so, for me, like, so for the eight years, why, why not just go back in and finish out the 20? I mean, you only had like what 12 uh, more to go. I actually got hurt in the in the Marines, so oh. I kind of had to get out. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was like, dang, man. Yeah, yeah. So I ended up having uh, to get two screws in my shoulder. All right. Well, thank you for your service, man. Let me just throw that out there. And with that said, um, have you have you seen any action while you was in the service? Yeah, I've been deployed twice. Yeah, I've been deployed twice. <laughs> What was some what was some of the action that you saw when you got deployed? Oh, uh, you know, I've I've been to countries such as uh Kenya, you know, Libya, Kuwait, you know, just some Middle Eastern countries like you know, like Afghanistan and all stuff. Um I've been to I can't remember all the countries. I've been to like over a dozen countries, honestly. <laughs> So let me ask you this, like, you know, on your very first deployment, because I'm sure each other deployment after that, it just gets kind of easier, easier and, you know, gets kind of basic. But on your first deployment, how did you feel? I mean, was you scared? What was kind of what oh, kind of yeah. what kind of thoughts was going through your mind when, you, <laughs> when 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 they came in there and say, yo. We 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 got to ship out and we got to you know protect and all that other good stuff. Oh, uh, it was multiple emotions. I was I was about nineteen, going on twenty when I my, my first deployment. Um, I think it was like excitement, you know, fear, anxiety, you know, just like adrenaline, you know, all that adrenaline. You think, oh man, I'm about to you know, leave the United States for the first time. I'm like, oh, crap, <laughs> you went to a different country. But it was it was mostly it was mostly excitement, but of course, you know, I think that deep down, you know, you got that you know, respect, you know, you gotta know, come back. Mm-hmm. You know, in that in the back of your head. But for the most part I was kinda like, Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> so I, after doing eight years, um, and you get you know, you get is it 
I'm assuming it was what a medical discharge or honorable honorable medical discharge. Yeah, I got, I got honorable honorable discharge. Oh, okay, okay. So when you came yeah, out, yeah, yeah. when you came out and you start facing struggles and stuff like that, I mean, as a military, as a military guy, I, I would, I wouldn't imagine that you will have any kind of, you know, struggles for a job or anything like that. I'm sure you know the government could have looked out for oh, you, right? As far as getting, you know, as far as getting a job and transitioning back into the, you know, back into civilian life. They they do have programs right before you get out um, to help you. Um, but sometimes those programs are not necessarily, don't necessarily help you. Um, they kind of give you like a tool. It's like, hey, here's a resource for you to find jobs or here's a website or people you can call. But, you know, you, you definitely got to put the, the footwork in to actually get those jobs and, the benefits and all the help because they're not going to sit there and do it for you. It's something they can give you the tools and kind of lead you to it. But for the most part, it is on you to, to do it. So, but, which I, which I did, you know, I did use some of those tools and, and it, they did help me. Um, and just, you know, after some things just don't work out, you know, like the way I expected them. And that's kind of why I was bouncing from job to job. Especially when I found out I was having a kid, so let me even harder. It's like, dang, man. <laughs> man, I, you know, it's funny that when I was in high school, you know, I, I, I've seen a lot of recruiters from the service always come into the schools to recruit, you know, the next generation, the new guys and all like that. And they always come in with, you know, you can learn this, you can get this, you can get this, that, and the third. But after they 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 try to they they sugarcoat everything to get you in, but does oh, yeah. <laughs> but but does nothing for you while you're out. Why is that? Yeah. I I think honestly, I think it's just because once you know they're gonna get what you they're going to get what they need out of you, basically. Then, um, after that, they're on their own, pretty much. I mean, there are programs out, outside of the military to help you, and you got your friends and other resources, but the next thing ace at you um, when you get out. Like, and that's the one thing, I mean, a lot of guys felt like, you know, they kind of got abandoned once they got out because they felt like, you know, once the, the military got what they needed, they kind of just kind of kick you to the curve, which back in the day, it was a bigger problem. It, it's gotten a lot better, but it still is an issue today. But it's it's slightly getting better, but it's still a problem. Wow. You know, the soul guys, you know, feel like they don't get the help they need mentally and emotionally when they get out. Which is, which is what I felt kind of when I first got out. So I kind of had to like, dig deep, you know, reach out to some of my friends, you know, to help me out when I was struggling. And that's how I made it this far, honestly, in life, is because of my friends okay. and family, of course. That's what's up, man. At least you get at, at least you had that uh that that support. You know, that's yes, that's a good thing. Definitely. Man. That's a good thing. All right, man. So, of course, I'm I'm going to assume you use your GI Bill to get your to get your CDL. Am I correct? Yes, sir. I did. That's yes, what's up. That's what's up. All right. So, fast forward to getting your CDL. We're gonna just go ahead and jump right into it, man. You got in. Uh, you got into Warner, uh, and rocked out with them for a while. But let me ask you this: before you got with Warner, what was the hardest part for you becoming a truck driver? I think it was um, making a commitment to become a hatching of truck driver because I know it takes becoming a trucker is a huge commitment because you know you got to spend a lot of time away from family and friends, um, long hours, which I, I was used to in the military, but it's it's different because you're like you know United States, but just always gone away from your family. So that's something that I had to decide. I, that's something I wanted to do is like make that sacrifice and. Okay. It's been hard, but it's been rewarding. Okay. So, Warner, 
how how long you been driving all together? You, I know you said it. What two years? Uh, two years. All right. So you've been with Warner all that time for the two years. Yeah, yeah. I've been on a Dollar General account. All right, so let's let's jump on that, my G, because you know you 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 jump on TikTok, uh, and you show you know your journey, uh, with the dollar accounts. That's what I call them. I was not a fan. Yeah. Was you when you <laughs> went to Warner? Was you talked in to doing a dollar account, or you knew that you was going to be doing a dollar account when you got with Warner? I was definitely talked into it. Uh, I had before I even started trucking. I had no idea. Not the Dollar General account um, until I talked to a recruiter. So they kind of talked me into it. And I'm like, hey, you get to, you know, you drive up a truck. It's like, all right, cool. I'm not afraid no no labor, but it was, it, was, it was a lot different, you know, when you got to get on the account. <laughs> what, what, you to tell you. <laughs> what, what, what was, what was the sugar coat that they, that they, that they, uh, that they threw on you to get the, for you to agree to do it? Oh, they're, they're like, oh, you get to be home. Like, uh, a couple of times through the week, you know, all you do is offload a few stops, you know, but they didn't tell you about all the toppers and all <laughs> all the, <laughs> the heavy rotators of like water and dog food and milk and all that stuff you have to push that can, that can weigh a few hundred pounds at, for one rotator. Um, like, oh yeah, you just, you know, just push a few things off into the store and go off to the next store and then you'll be done. You know, they made it seem like it was so easy. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and go ahead and expose it, bro. I mean, it, it, tell us, <laughs> t- tell us the real dollar account as as a solo driver, and you got to unload a fifty foot trailer, top to bottom, front to back. What 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 is yeah, what what is that? T- 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 take us through a day. Of of a dollar of a dollar uh, account driver, man. Okay, man. So you, uh, first, you gotta get into some of these crazy stores, man. Like you see some of these dollar general accounts, you gotta squeeze a fifty three foot trailer in some of these stores, which aren't make, most of them aren't, aren't made for a truck. So that's the first struggle, you know. Then um, obviously you got the main part is the unloading, so you can put like three rotators on like a lift gate. But these ro- these roll chains are like cars with wheels on them. You'll probably you see them in these stores if you pay attention. Um, but sometimes the, the the wheels are messed up. Um, I've had wheels missing on some of them. <laughs> um, roll chains are bent. You know the lift gate doesn't work. Roll chains tipping over off the lift gate. You know. Then you got the toppers on top of the roll of the actual roll chains. Toppers are like the stuff they can't. They can't fit into the, the roll chain, so they just throw them on top. They call them toppers because they just sit on top of the actual roll chain and it's just loose, you know. So you gotta take all that stuff off to even get to the roll chainers. So they have like these things called U boats, basically just like carts. You bring them up there, put all the toppers off, then you bring those down before you can get to the actual roll chainers. So you can spend up to like up to three to four hours at one store sometimes, just off offloading. And sometimes you may have like three to four stores to go to in that day. So <laughs> some stores get more than others. Some get like 1,600 pieces. Some get like 800 pieces. So it all depends on what they order. And you have, um, to, and, and you, the driver, has to offload all of that. Yes, yes. So when the, gotcha, man. <laughs> so with with that said, I know that the that that the recruiter came to you and like, oh well, you get like uh you you get paid well and all like that. So what was the what was the pay for for your account? What what was they what was the pay for you at the end of the week, bro? Uh, usually I can pull in between uh I would say about like fifteen to you know twenty two a week, depending. It depends on how fast you run and how hard you run, obviously. Um, I think the most I made in the week was about 2200 that week. But best believe, best believe I, I, I was earning everyone that penny. I was like, every. Yeah, I, I, can, ima- I, I, I can imagine you, you working for every last 
penny of, <laughs> of what they uh offering you. So is that fifteen hundred take home or just fifteen hundred uh gro- uh n- yeah, net gross. That was that was that, that was take home. That was after taxes usually. 'Cause they they've given us a couple of pay raises because before it was the pay raise the pay was it was like I think it was like only like thirty cents per mile or something like that, but they really? bumped it up since yeah. I think now it's like fifty nine cents per mile plus you get stop pad and unload. They actually pay for unloading. Man, they they should. So they, they, he, they of course they should. Uh, that 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 thirty. What was? What'd you say? Thirty nine cent a mile? Uh, no, it, it was it was like thirty. It was like thirty like thirty two or something like that. Thirty two. Man, that's a slap in the face, yeah, bro. That was. That was that was before I came on to it. Like, oh, okay. A couple years before I came on to oh, it. Okay, so. yeah, that that's a slap in the face for doing <laughs> uh, for doing that. That's hard work. How how is that for you at the end of the week, though, man? I mean, I know they'd be like, "Oh, well, you can get home. You're off at the end of the week. You get uh, you you off on the weekends." But, bro, after af- after doing that <laughs> every day. Every um, every I'm day. How too, how 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 was you physically and mentally? Oh, man, when I when I first started, man, I, I was I was mentally and physically just exhausted, man. Like I didn't think I was gonna make it that long, honestly. Like I thought I was gonna quit like the first week, man. I was like, man, this ain't for me. But <laughs> but after I guess after doing it for a while, man, like I got used to it. But still, like even now, man, I, I still get I feel a drain some days. Um, you just spend your whole day trying to recover your body, like physically, because you're just so sore from moving the stuff up these like ramps and like some of these doors are not they're not even you know they're up on slopes and stuff so you got push stuff uphill and these tiny stores and stuff so I'm like I'm like damn man I'm like tired man <laughs> like physically mentally how how is it so, how how is it uh, doing the dollar accounts through the through the elements man now uh, you know we're in the uh, winter time what, how is it in in the winter time man I I know it's in the winter time it's it's if it you feel it's nice man because you're you know you're you're warm but you got that nice cold weather on you know uh, from the outside but in the summertime man it's a, it's it's brutal man <laughs> it's brutal in the summer. Um, cause you, you think about it, you're in a trailer and it's like a hundred and something degrees outside. It's much, I guess, add like another, like 10 degrees to that on the inside. So for the so whole, it's, so for the whole two years, you, you, you did the dollar account with Warner throughout the whole two years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did the dry side and I did the, the DG fresh. The fresh is where it's basically like, the milk, the cold, like the milk, eggs, and ice cream and all that stuff, and the dry is like the dry side, I guess, like the random stuff you see in the store. So it was like two sides of Dollar General, basically. Would you would you suggest any new driver? I wouldn't, but would you would you suggest <laughs> would you suggest any new driver to uh to to do the dollar account when they first get with a company? Uh, I honestly would not, cause um, just cause the difficulty of these stores to get into. Um, but if you like, you know, being outside, working with your hands, and yeah, but just you know, you lose a lot of accents, cause you know you got a lot of distractions coming into the store. You got people walking behind the truck, you got cars driving behind you while you're trying to back in. People trying to come in and out while as you're backing into the store. Um. So I I don't I don't think I think you should have some type of experience before going on to the Dollar General account, honestly. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. They don't they don't see it that way. They just throw new guys onto it. <laughs> yeah, the they, they they destroy it in they just throw them in there just to be throwing them in and throwing them in there, man. All right, so uh yeah, so later later down the line you you decide to give it all up though. You you like it's 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 that time, so you know, you got your two yeah. years. You got your two years in. When, when was when was the thought of you, you know, moving on from the D? I mean, from uh, from the dollar account and Warner in general. Um, I started thinking about it probably like a couple of months ago. Honestly, uh, it was just you know the work schedule, the work life balance, man. It's just taking its toll, man. Because I mean, 
I'll be home. I'll be gone for six days out of the week. Get home for like one day, and they're already like calling me on my day off, saying, "Hey, we got low for you." That leaves like at midnight, and just just doing that every week, day in day out. It's just, it's just a, it's just draining. I like, man, I don't have time to enjoy my life, man. <laughs> you know, I'm always tired. You know, I'm always just, I just want to sleep when I get home. I don't, you know, I want to do more than just sleep and work. So I guess maybe like a couple months ago, I was just like, no, kind of a done deal, kind of, you know, trying to look for something new, something that has a better work-life balance for, for, for my needs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, that's what's up. So the company, you, you don't have to mention the company that you're with now, but how did you come across the new company that you're you're with now? Um, I actually have a couple of friends that, that work there, you know, I kind of started doing my research and they popped up and I said, hey, I know some guys that, you know, that work there. I heard nothing but good things about these guys. So I did my research and um, I talked to a recruiter and she was like, yeah, we're going to get you home on the weekend. And I said, oh, say no more, you know, and they pay more, you know, and what Warner's paying me, their benefits, obviously. Um, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, hey, more power to you out here, man. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me, man. Thank you very much. Max. Appreciate it, man. Max Daddy. How can the people uh, how can the people follow you, man? And before you before you mention that, how did you, you know, how did you uh, or not not how, but why did you choose uh, TikTok as a platform of, you know, showing your journey? Uh, honestly, I just kind of started for, like, just for the fun of it, you know. Then I started talking. Like, that's actually how I met a lot of, you know, fellow truckers, you know. Just kind of, like, just posting, like, random videos and of what I did. And people started following me and kind of, like, talking. You know, we all kind of, like, related to that experience, whether you're doing flat bear or just no touch freight. We all kind of have a you know, experience in that. So mm-hmm. I was just kind of experimenting with it. Then, um, you know, for sure people start following me and kind of like, you know, following me and kind of like, just like, hey, same contact, man. <laughs> and okay. That's kind of how it came to be, man. All right. Now, where can they, where can they follow you at, bro? Oh, uh, you can follow me on TikTok. Or you can follow me on uh, Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll update my TikTok page. Where I put my my Instagram name on there, All right. um, but go go my ahead. TikTok say, is Mac- say 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 your say say your TikTok name. <laughs> uh, Max Daddy eighteen twelve man. Max Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> hey, you can't forget that name though, man. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> You, you show sure okay putting the putting the daddy to the max. That's what's up, man. Yes, sir. Well, Max, daddy, man, thank you very much for uh, sharing your story with me, man. Um, again, you know, I know, I I know, and I understand that dollar account can 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 wear a tear wear and tear a body out, and and you lasting uh, more than a year at that account that that shows some type of fortitude man but i myself i i don't think i can i i i don't think i could do it within the first couple of weeks i would have been done like yo here take this no y'all y'all finagled me man i'm i'm good can i can i get a o, can, put me otr <laughs> yeah, put me OTR all that, all that. Whoa, well, you making this money and no, nah, man. I no, nah, you. Said, I, I'm a driver, not not a yeah. not a worker. If I'm gonna be a worker, I would have just went on here and found uh, a warehouse job, man. Y'all got me, y'all got me twofold. Y'all y'all trying to get the benefits of the driver and a worker at the same time. That's some bullshit, man. <laughs> Yes, sir. Man, that's, that's why I left. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we 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 got two fold. We got a driver and a worker, man. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna milk this. 
Y'all ain't Black milking me with it. <laughs> you know, y'all not gonna milk me with that. I'm I'm cool. Give me give give me my cent per right. mile, and I'll do OTR for a couple of years, and then I'll move on. Bump all that, man. Yes, sir. But for the yes, people, sir. you know, for the people that does it, you know what I'm saying. Some some like it, some don't. But you know what I'm saying. But for a new driver, that for a brand new driver, I really don't think. Uh, you should get in it. I think you, if you do want to do the dollar account, I think you should get you maybe about six, maybe a year in and then do it. Because like he said, some of those places is, is impossible to get in. So. Yes. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> All right, my bro. Yeah, man, not All right, my bro. Well, All thank right. you very much, man. You are a citizen. So anytime you want to come on and share any stories or anything like that, man, you got my number. Reach out to me and we'll get it in. All right, man. I appreciate the invite, man. I appreciate that. No doubt, man. No doubt. I appreciate you, man. Stay safe out there, bro. All right, you too, brother. All right, now. <laughs>